Did you know that you can cut up a dead player in DayZ and use their guts and bones to go fishing? You can literally survive and provide yourself with food for an entire adventure with a dead survivor. Wild stuff. Welcome to DayZ in 2023. Hello everyone. My name is BWAD99 and today I'll be giving you some of the most essential tips that you'll need to survive DayZ in 2023. We'll cover food and water collection, illness prevention and cures, navigation tips, and other vital information that'll make survival easier than you ever imagined. Spawning in. Most people might tell you that the most important thing in Daisy is knowing where you are when you spawn. And although that might be useful, it's not of the essence. The second your character spawns in, you need to cater your vital stats in order to survive. Navigation and map awareness slash knowledge will come later with time and experience. First, filling food and water is the most important step to early game survival. Obviously, you can die due to dehydration or starvation, but with low food and water levels, you are so much more prone to disease, like the flu, cold symptoms, and a lot of other stuff. So you'll want to get into the white with your food and water as fast as possible. Also, you want to check your surroundings. This is a really basic but helpful thing to help you identify that spawn spot later down the road. Plus, if you check the surrounding area, uh, there's a good chance that you'll find players nearby who died trying to get a different spawn location. And you can always scoop up their starter bandage and piece of fruit. Easy goop. Finding food should be one of your first priorities as we talked about before. You do spawn with a random fruit item, plum, pear, apple, etc. But try to hold off as long as possible. You might find more fruit underneath fruit trees in your spawn, or find other dead freshies with fruit in their inventory. And if you collect a few pieces and are able to bake them over the fire rather than eating them raw, you'll exponentially increase the caloric value of the fruit. Canned goods, powdered milk, cereals, snacks, and sodas are all food items that can be commonly found in houses, in car racks, and even in dead zombies. It may be difficult to come by at times, but it's always worth looting a few houses along your way for a potential can of beans. Fishing is probably the easiest and most efficient way of filling up your food bar early game. You can find fishing rods and hooks and containers in shipping yards and at crash boats along the coast. You can also craft one with a rope, which is lootable, or you can craft it with six rags plus another stick, six stack of rags, or you can craft it with guts combined with a blade. Combine the rope with a long stick and you get a fishing rod. You can then take bones from dead players, chickens, or whatever animal you come across uh, and combine them with a blade to make improvised hooks. Then you can take your blade, or a pickaxe, shovel, or farming hoe to dig up worms in grassy areas. Then take the worms, combine them with your hook, and then attach the hook and bait to your fishing rod and go find a water source. And you have pretty much an unlimited source of fish. You can fish in the ocean, lakes, streams, and ponds. Hunting is also an option, but you'll need a pretty high caliber weapon and ammo, obviously, uh, for most animals. However, animals like pigs and sheep can actually be meleeed to death if you play your cards right, but that's tedious, fishing's easier. Water is essential, but do not drink from ponds or lakes without cleaning the water. You will get sick. Also, always empty out water bottles, canteens, and cooking pots that you find before you drink them. A rule of thumb, if you didn't fill it or clean it yourself, do not trust it. Always empty it. You can clean water from fresh water sources with chlorine tablets, which you can find in medical spawns and hunting spawns. Or you can boil water in a cooking pot over a stove. It'll have to be 100 degrees Celsius, which you can see by hovering over the cooking pot when it's on the stove, and you should see visible steam come from the pot. That's how you know it's boiled. You can also find fresh water wells in just about every spawn town, and sometimes even multiple. These will usually be located in heavy residential areas along roadsides. They're not usually super hard to find, and when you do find them, they're an unlimited source of clean water. The best way to fill up your water levels by far. Fire. I've mentioned using a fire a few times now, and if you're new, I realize you may not be able to start a fire. You might not know how to. So I'd recommend checking out my fire making tutorial linked at the top of your screen right now. Now, hopefully things have gone to plan and you filled your food and your water levels. This will increase your immune system efficiency and make it much more difficult for you to get sick by the elements. But here's what you can do to prevent and cure illnesses. Wash your hands after gutting animals and players. When you cut up a carcass without gloves, your hands will get covered in blood and you'll need to wash them at a water source or with disinfectant, iodine, or alcohol tincture. 
If you accidentally eat with bloody hands, you'll contract salmonella. I need to find vitamins or charcoal tablets to cure it. If you have salmonella, which can also be had by eating raw meat, you'll get sick when you eat and drink. You can take small one second bites and sips of water to keep yourself alive if needed, but it's probably best just to take the pills and wait for the sickness to go away. Stay away from other players that are sick. Other players with flu symptoms like coughing, sneezing, etc. can get you sick if you don't keep your distance, so be careful. Take vitamins when you have yellow food and water or blue temperature. Vitamins give you a temporary boost to your immune system, meaning that if you are primed to get sick due to poor vital stats, vitamins can be taken as a preventative measure to buy you time to get your vitals filled up and to take care of yourself. Vitamins are also very useful for curing most other diseases. Medical supplies can be found in hospital buildings and blue medical centers. Here, you can find saline bags, which you have to combine with an IV start kit to use, but will help regen blood fast and it gives you a boost to hydration. Tetracycline pills, which are antibiotic medication. You can use it to fight off the flu or the cold. Charcoal tabs, these are used to fight food poisoning and salmonella. Vitamins, which are an immune system booster and can be used to prevent and cure most illnesses. Bandages, self-explanatory. Morphine and codeine, both are pain medication that will help you if you lose HP and need to move quickly in a tense situation. Epinephrine, these injectors will instantly revive an unconscious player or will give 60 seconds of unlimited stamina. When taking pills, keep in mind that you cannot stack medication, meaning that you can only take one pill at a time. Wait until the pill icon on your HUD goes away before taking more. With all of the basic stuff out of the way, here are some other tips that I think are useful on a more general scale. You can craft a knife by combining two bones, by combining two small stones, by combining one stone or a bone sharpened over a bigger boulder, or by combining one small stone with one bone. When fighting zombies, Make sure to block their hits by holding up your fists and moving backwards. You can only block what's in front of you though, so don't let players or other zombies get behind you. You can power melee hit by holding left shift while punching on PC or by holding triangle slash Y on console. Again, when fighting zombies, they will attack in two hit combinations. Block these two attacks and immediately after the second hit, you can easily squeeze in one power hit or two regular hits. This is the best way to fight infected while minimizing damage you take from zombie hits. If being attacked in close quarters combat, you can melee with any gun if in hand, raising the gun, and by double tapping F on PC or pressing square slash X on console. You can stealth kill zombies by sneaking behind them with a knife and meleeing them in the back. The type slash amount of gear you carry will affect your stamina bar and the amount of noise you make when moving. More gear equals less stamina and more noise made when moving. You can quick drop items on PC by holding control and clicking on them, and you can pick them up fast by double clicking. Spacebar can also be used to rotate items in your inventory. Baking food will give you the most calories. Boiling gives some calories but more hydration, and smoking gives no hydration, good calories, and will last a very long time. Power lines found all over the map will typically lead to civilization. If you're ever lost and have no map or compass, use them to find a town or a city. You can unload weapons by double tapping R on PC or Y slash triangle on console and load them by holding R slash Y slash triangle as well. Just like gunshots, melee hits do more health damage and shock damage to the head versus anything else. This applies to zombies and players. Suppressed pistols may seem like a great zombie killer, but not if you miss your shots. Missing your shots will alert nearby zombies and cause you lots of trouble. This will also be a problem if lots of zombies are bunched together, even if you hit your shots. So in my opinion, melee and sneaking around is the best option. You can use epoxy putty or leather sewing kits to repair ballistic vests. Epoxy can also fix helmets and leather kits can also fix most types of shoes. Duct tape and sewing kits can repair clothing, electrical repair kits can repair all scopes and electronics. You can stop bleeds by using bandages, rags, or even a sewing kit, but make sure they are disinfected or you can get a deadly wound infection. Disinfect by using alcohol, iodine, or disinfectant. These can also cure stage 1 wound infections. 
With your gun in hand, press X on PC or aim and press A slash X on console to switch gun firing modes for assault rifles. When aiming down sight, you can hold your breath for steadier aim by holding Control on PC or L1 on controller. When running, you can hold Alt on PC or L1 on controller to free look without turning your body. If you have trouble finding gloves, you can craft them by holding two rags in hand and scrolling until you get the prompt to craft improvised hand wraps. These operate like normal gloves. You can also craft improvised foot wraps with two rags. These are essentially ninja shoes that make very little sound when moving. Super helpful for stealth PvP or for avoiding zombies. Well, that was probably a ton of information for you. But hopefully you find it useful and it helps extend your next daisy adventure even just a little bit. If you need further help, make sure to check out my guides playlist here on my channel, or come check out my live streams Monday through Friday, 11 a.m. Eastern Time, where you can see how I play and how I manage to get on on a daily basis. If you learned something or enjoyed the video, make sure to sub and to like. It helps me out quite a bit. Other than that, I'll see you guys all in the next one. Bye-bye.